We all know it snows a lot in the mountains, but why? So we've all been there, really happy after a day skiing a few inches of snow, when your buddy calls you up from a nearby resort and brags about his amazing day. Well, it is possible that your buddy's lying, but it's also possible that he's telling the truth, and that's because mountains create their own weather. National Weather Service expert Joe Ramey explains. To produce snow in, in, uh, in the mountains, you need three things. You need lift, and you need moisture, and you need temperatures cold enough to freeze the, uh, into snowflakes and the mountains provide that lift. When air runs into a mountain, it's forced to rise, and that rising air cools, and the moisture falls as snowflakes. Now, air can rise in many ways, like by the jet stream or by cold fronts and warm fronts, but mountains are actually 10 to 20 times more efficient in getting air to go up. So now that we know that mountains cause air to go up, we need to find big mountains. And lucky for us, they exist all over the U.S., from the coastal ranges of Oregon, Washington, and California, to the interior sections of Utah, Colorado, and Wyoming, and even the taller peaks of New England all provide lift when storms line up just the right way. So let's go back to that example with your friend who claimed nearby he skied so much more snow than you did. Now this is actually possible because mountains do create their own weather, and let's take an example in Utah. Now before we think about that, remember, a lot of factors determine where you're going to go skiing. The terrain, where your friends are, where you have a pass. Weather and snow is just one idea. But here's the example. Let's look at Alta and Park City. As the crow flies, it's only about seven miles. However, Alta gets a significant amount of snow, much more than Park City. That's because most storms come from the west, and the air is rising up into Alta. Now, as that air goes over the mountain, it's actually descending into Park City, and you know that rising air is good for snow, descending air is bad. For On the Snow, I'm meteorologist Joel Gratz.